Miami is it's a dream for us to be here um, in the States, but in such a big, important city like Miami, where there is, um, you know, sports is huge here. You've obviously got Miami Heat, you've got the Dolphins, you know, they're, they're massive sporting fans. And so for them now to be, uh, Formula One, to be a part of that, that uh, ecosystem, um, for us to experience the atmosphere here, the weather's insane, it's, it's one of the most grueling um, tracks for us not only as drivers but also as with, with the car with this heat um, it's, it's exciting to be here I, I love basketball. I've always been a huge fan of basketball. It's probably my favorite sport to watch, um, that and, and NFL. So, um, yeah, for, so to come out and have an event where that's incorporated in it is pretty cool, particularly as they got like the playoffs right now as well. So, um, and Miami Heat obviously just lost. So it's, uh, you know, it's an, in, it's a, it's an exciting time for the sport. And I think there's a lot of parallels between our sport and NFL and NBA, so it's really cool for us to be able to cross those over. Last year we had Tom Brady, for example, and so, um, yeah, it's neat. I think for such a huge, huge country, it's, it's amazing that we now have three Grand Prix here this year. Um, because you know, I think the difficult thing with Formula One is, you know, it's just once a year you, you're visiting some of these, uh, most of these countries, and um, I think for here, it's such a huge market for the sport. There's, um, you've seen the, you know, the growth has been huge in the past year, particularly within women, uh, which is great to see. And we need to make sure we get more women into our sport. But I think uh, Vegas is going to be epic. I mean, it was a dr watching the movie Casino, and I always thought how crazy it would be for us to race down the streets there, and the fact that we're going to be underneath those lights at night, it's going to be epic.